What's up, vapers? Thanks for checking out Daily Vape TV. My name is Nick, and it's that vlog time once again. That's right, this is episode 42 of my Let's Vape vlog series, where I talk about a whole bunch of different topics affecting me and the channel and the industry, etc., etc. I've got a fairly full show on tap for you guys today. We've got a lot of stuff to talk about. We're going to start it off with a bang here with the 25,000 subscriber giveaway announcement. Then I've got some channel updates and some advocacy news to talk about, of course. Some good news, some bad news, but we'll get into that in a second here. We have some first impressions to do as well. Then we're going to go right into the shout outs. I've got plenty of shout outs to do for you guys this week. And then we're going into what I've been vaping on, the setups that I'm rocking this week. And we've got some vape mail to take a look at. And then we're going to wrap it up with a random review. So let's go ahead and get started here. Grab your favorite mod, grab a frosty beverage and a comfy chair, sit back, relax, and let's vape. All right, guys, I've got a little bit of an issue. I have too much stuff to give away. This entire bin is full of giveaway items to give out to you guys out there. So with that, I think we're gonna give away a big chunk of it with this 25,000 subscriber giveaway. I've got three medium flat rates to fill up for you guys and each package will be completely equal. I'm not doing first, second or third or anything like that. It's gonna be three equal packages. Everything is gonna contain at least a mod, an atomizer, some wicking, some wire, some stuff stickers, and of course, a full line of blaz and your choice of nicotine. So we're gonna let this one run for a few weeks because this is a massive giveaway and I want a ton of entries. Make sure you share it out with your friends as well. Get everyone around you involved because, hey, the more the merrier, you know, the more entries, the better in my opinion. Uh, also, the winner will pay shipping, of course, as per usual, the FDA fee. And then we have uh, the fact that it's a US only giveaway. I'm sorry, international people watching. I can't do international giveaways at this point in time. But with that, the full rule are right down there in the description below. So the next thing on the agenda is summer merch. I've got three new summery themed shirt designs dropping very soon, if not already. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be super productive this weekend and get those out to you by the time this video goes live. But in any case, I've got three new shirts dropping really, really soon for the summer line of merch. And I think they're gonna be awesome, guys. So make sure you check out the Teespring account. Of course, as always, the Cloud Crew and Patreon discount codes are available. Make sure you check the group and or page for those if you are a cloud crew member or a patron and with that uh yeah it's gonna be awesome guys i'm gonna drop a new line every single season and i've got three really cool ideas that i hope you guys really enjoy so make sure you check them out i'll leave a link right down there in the description below so getting into some advocacy news we have fund the suit the suit has been funded and we actually crushed our goal they are no longer accepting donations on the gofundme page however you can still make a private donation on their website if you so wish so i I will still have that link right down there in the description below. Uh, we crushed the goal, guys. We got $278,762 with a goal of just $250,000 in a matter of 16 days raised by 1,016 people. So to everyone out there that donated, you guys are amazing. You guys rock and you have definitely done your part for now, but the fight is definitely not over. I want to see everyone just keep this energy up and transfer it to the next fight that we have, which is the FD comment period, which we'll talk about in just a second here. But with that, uh, yeah, the fight is not over, guys. This $250,000 goal was just to file the appeal. Now, they're going to need a lot more money than that to keep these lawyers on the retainer. And of course, you have to just keep up the donations and that kind of thing. But I also want to encourage everyone out there watching that they should also be encouraging the Chinese manufacturers to donate as well. Uh, one of the biggest donations was from Anakin. They donated $20,000 which is amazing. And they are a part of Sevia USA, which is a lobbyist group in China with all the Chinese manufacturers. Uh, but they all need to be a part of this. You know, we have so many different Chinese manufacturers out there. And I feel like they are just as much of a part of the American industry uh, as they are anywhere else. So uh, with that, their fight here in the States is just as important. And they need kind of the, the coaxing. We need to coax the money out of their pockets a little bit to help fight the FDA. So yeah, yeah, you guys are awesome for doing your part. Keep up the good work, guys. You guys are all amazing for doing your part. And ah, I just love this energy. So I hate to be a buzzkill, but the state of New York has passed the preliminary stages of a flavor ban. This is big news, guys. This is really important for all of you New York vapors out there. And of course, vapors all over the place because this is not just, just going to stay in New York. It's going to start spreading all over the country before we know it. We have to stop these flavor bans, guys, because this could be a massive impact to the industry. Uh, let me just go 
right from Kassah's website here, and we'll just read the original post. It says, Senator Kemp Hannon is once again sponsoring legislation that would ban the sale of e-liquid in flavors other than tobacco and menthol. This is not a restriction on where these products can be sold. It's a ban. Uh, Senator Hannon's bill, S8610, is the uh, on the state uh, Senate Health Committee agenda for uh, Thursday the 31st, blah, blah, blah. And it says, this meeting is not a public hearing, but your voices are needed to help uh, help oppose this bill. Even though Senator Hannon has introduced some form of flavor ban legislation in several previous sessions with no success, the current moral panic and hysteria surrounding flavored vapor products it makes this year's attempt even more concerning. That was actually the original post. Now they have since updated it, uh, just including the information on uh, the current state of it. And it says here, during Thursday's Senate Health Committee meeting, members voted 14 to 1 in favor of moving a flavor ban along in the legislative process. Considering that the bill's sponsor, Senator Kemp Hannon, uh, is the chairman of the committee, a yes vote is arguably a matter of procedure. There is There was no debate and a bare minimum of discussion before the vote was taken. S8610 uh, will be moving on to a vote in the Senate. At the, time, uh, at the same time, a bill introduced by Representative Linda Rosenthal, A8688, which would prohibit the sale of e-liquid in flavors other than tobacco and menthol, is on the agenda for Tuesday, June 5th, 2018 at 1 p.m. Please note, this is not a public hearing. Contacting your lawmakers via email, phone, or written letter is the only opportunity before this meeting to express your views on this bill. So I realize this video is going to come out on a Monday, so this is very, 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 very important. Make sure you guys get this done. Contact your, your lawmakers out there. Write them some emails. Just barrage them with phone calls. Do what you got to do and tell them this is not something that's going to be good for the state of New York. Now, this is important, guys. This is we're talking flavor ban here. You know, this is really, really, really serious. And if this goes through, if they do ban flavors in the state of New York, that is huge. That is setting precedence for all the rest of the country. And I'm even seeing it right now with other parts of the country popping up as well. We've seen it in San Francisco, and now there's another one on our doorstep. We have Chicago. Chicago proposing a flavor ban. And uh, real quick, I'm just going to read a little bit about that one as well. So it says here, Chicago Alderman Edward Burke has proposed a law that would ban the sale of flavored nicotine liquid products in the nation's third largest city. The law is aimed directly at Juul, which is mentioned in the text 25 times. According to the proposed ordinance 02018-4150, flavored nic liquid nicotine products means any liquid nicotine product that contains a constituent that imparts a characterizing flavor. As used in this definition, the term characterizing flavor means a distinguishable taste or aroma other than the taste or aroma of tobacco imparted either prior to or during consumption of a liquid nicotine product, including but not limited to tastes or aromas of menthol, mint, wintergreen, chocolate, vanilla, honey, cocoa, any candy, any dessert, any alcoholic beverage, any fruit, any herb, or any spice. Well then, I feel like they're just buttoning this whole thing right up. They are really taking action against flavored nicotine products, and that could be a major thing as well. We're seeing this in big cities, guys. This is a major impact here, and this could, once again, set even more of a precedence. Once you see some of the major cities actually take a part in these flavor bans, you could see it nationwide, and uh, I really don't think it's going to stop either. It's really kind of red alert time. This is DEFCON 1 right now, and we are in major trouble trouble if these bans go through. So do your part. Bottom line, do your part. That's all I can say at this point. Just get out there, write your emails, call your senators, call your congressmen, call your local lawmakers. Do what you got to do, guys, because this is seriously uh, pretty much the beginning of the end for vaping if it means flavor bans all over the country. I mean, that is definitely something that could potentially seriously harm the industry. I mean, cripple this industry. Imagine if there was only one flavor available on your local vape shop shelves. How long would that vape shop stay in business? I'm going to tell you right now, probably a week, a week tops at best. But yeah, I mean, this is really sad and depressing news here, guys, but there is still time we can, you know, do our part to, you know, take action against these flavor bans and, uh, you know, get out there, share the posts, share the phone numbers, share the email addresses. If you actually care about this industry, this is extremely important, guys. I'm pleading with you right now, begging with you to please just 
just do your part, do something. It doesn't matter if you share one link out to someone that they can click and contact their local lawmakers or whatever they have to do there, but just do something. If you do nothing, nothing is going to happen. That's the bottom line. Speaking of doing something, we have until June 19th to get our comments into the FDA about flavored nicotine products. June 19th, that is the deadline for the comment period, guys, so make sure you do your part with that. Grim Green has helped us along a little bit with FDA 100K, and you can visit that site right down there in the description below. Keep it nice, free, and easy. Just hashtag FDA 100K, and uh, just share that all over the place, and share that link as well, because just doing your part is something that everyone should be doing out there. Just, just a little bit. This is definitely the easiest thing you'll ever do in advocacy. All you have to do is write a couple of sentences on how flavored vapor products helped you quit smoking, and that's it. Just hit that submit button, get those numbers up, share that link everywhere you can, and let's get these comments up to 100K before June 19th. All right, guys, so for first impressions, we have this guy right here. This is the Vaptio Solo Flat, given to me by a company called EcoVape. Big shout out to them for giving me this thing here. And uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun vaping on this thing the past couple of weeks. I ha did have a little bit of an issue at first with a gurgling and spitting problem. I don't know what it was, probably the pressure from when I took it on the plane. Uh, but when I got home, I cleaned it out, I refilled it, and it was good to go. So been really digging this thing lately. It kind of reminds me of the sink. Uh, the vape forward sink from a while ago kind of has that same familiar feel to it the uh, sort of aluminum body to it and uh, just the overall size and shape is very very reminiscent of the sink and uh, it's a little bit chunkier than other pod systems I've used but the battery life is excellent I've used this thing for days and days and days and it goes nice and strong the whole time uh, it also has a light on the front here which is kind of nice as well that's your uh, puff indication slash battery charging indication and uh, it's got little little tiny windows on the side here to check your juice level but it's damn near impossible to see because you can't see through it I'm holding it up to the light right now and you can't see through it so yeah you kind of have to take your pot out to uh, in order to see that your juice level uh, it's pretty easy to fill it's got this big uh, rubber stopper or silicone stopper up here at the top and it's really darn easy to fill uh, pods can go in either way it doesn't matter whether you put them one way or the other other, which is nice. Of course, I like that. It's got the kind of universal micro USB charging port as well, which I'm digging. Overall, it kind of has a cheap feel though. Honestly, I'll be totally honest with you guys. It feels a little bit on the cheap side. Um, you, for those of you that watch my pod system reviews, I tend to chew on my pod systems a little bit, and this one has a lot of teeth marks on it, let me tell you. So probably going to need to pick up a couple more of these pods sometime in the near future if I want to continue using this thing, because it's going to get really, really mangled if I keep chewing on it, but right now I've got some 18 milligram Ohm Brew Nick Salts in here, and the flavor on it is very, very good. I'm using one called uh, The Black, and it's kind of a, a blackjack gum sort of flavor, an aniseed and peppermint, and uh, it's really good. I really like the vaping experience as a whole. It kind of has a nice semi-restricted draw, so you can get a pretty pretty decent mouth-to-lung inhale on it, and you can even direct lung if you have if you like the tighter draw. But uh, let's just go ahead and have a couple of puffs on this thing. So it is a little bit loose for my personal preferences. I like a nice tight, stiff draw with the, the pod systems. And this one's a little bit on the looser side. It's not so much that I get almost no vapor production or it doesn't engage the auto pull sensor or anything like that, but it is a little bit on the looser side from what I'm used to and what I actually prefer. The next thing I've got for you guys is this guy right here, the Baby Mag by Smoke or Smock, depending on where you're from. And I've really been enjoying using it. You know what? I have never owned a Smoke product until recently and and this thing is actually pretty decent. Now, it is absolutely tiny, of course, and it's only 50 watts of power, so uh, it's pretty decent with the 0.6 ohm Q2 coils, uh, between 30 to 40 watts. Usually I'm hovering anywhere from 35 to 37 if I want a little bit bigger of a pull. The only thing that I could really complain about right off the bat would be battery life. Yeah, probably three, four hours tops, and that's about it. But for a little conversation starter, sort of bring anywhere sort of device, it is not bad. It, my hands it just doesn't make any sense, but you know what? At the end of the day, it's kind of like just that, a conversation starter. It's a nice little kit to bring out with you on little errands or, you know, short little trips and stuff like that. But the Baby Prince tank is 
Yeah, it's all right. It's kind of like a newer baby beast, basically. It's got this little locking mechanism at the top so it doesn't fly open in your pocket. And it comes with a neat little drip tip as well. Um, as far as the controls, uh, I don't really like where they're placed. I wish they kind of moved them around a little bit because right now you're kind of gripping onto the up and down button. So you have to keep this thing locked up as much as possible. Just kind of, uh, it's just kind of annoying where they are placed. But, uh, you know, when you're holding it in your hand like that, you just try not to squeeze too much with your fingers and just kind of grip onto it with your thumb and forefinger here. But other than that, it's really not that bad of a little kit here. And uh, let's just go ahead and have a couple of vapes on it. The only other thing I would have to say about this one so far is you do get a little bit of leakage if you let it sit for a couple of days. So I would say if you're not planning on using this particular device, take the juice out of it or just vape it down until there's nothing left in the tank. All right, guys, it's time for some shout outs. Now, if you want to shout out for yourself, all you have to do is send me an email, dailyvapetv at gmail.com with the subject line saying shout out request or something like that. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Tell me who you want me to shout out, whether it be you or someone else or whatever, and I'll be sure to include it in one of my Let's Vape videos at some point in time. So let's go ahead and get started here. The first one says shout out from Issa and the Grindhouse team. Well, big shout out to you, Issa. That's Issa Khaleesi. He is a Cloud Crew member, big into advocacy, and he makes one of the best coffee flavored e-liquids I've ever tried in my life. It's called Americano by his brand Grindhouse e-liquid and it is delicious. It's a basic coffee cream and sugar kind of thing and it is really 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 freaking good. If you like coffee vapes I really highly suggest you guys try that one out and uh, he does have a whole line planned as well so make sure you keep an eye out on Grindhouse e-liquid. So next one says I would like to shout out the crew of vaping with the Omis for all their hard work and dedication. P.S. I think Clown Vapes is hot. Uh, Mrs. Almost Official Clownette. Well, Mrs. Official, Almost Official Clownette, big shout out to you. Congratulations on the uh, upcoming nuptials. Uh, I believe I've said that before in one of my shout outs, but yeah, shout out to all the Omis guys, Vaping with the Omis. I believe that's on Monday night. Uh, I'll put the details right down there in the description for you guys, but keep an eye out on Clown Vapes channel. He is one of my moderators on uh, the Daily Vape TV Cloud Crew group, and Mrs. Clownette is one of my my moderators on my channel now. Uh, she actually got that uh, a couple of uh, weeks ago when I did uh, Fresh Build Friday Live. So yeah, uh, big huge shout out to the Vaping with the Omis guys and also shout out to Mrs. Almost Official Clownette as well. Next one says, hey brother, my name is Fonzo and I've been smoke free since September 2016. I did smoke for 20 years, for over 20 years. I truly feel that vaping saved my life. Okay, so shout out to me, Fonzo. Well, Fonzo, you you have been shouted out, my friend. Big shout out from me to you. And uh, congratulations on the uh, quitting smoking. I mean, wow, that, that takes a lot of hard work and dedication. You know, I only smoked for seven, about seven years or so. And from coming from smoking over 20 years to uh, being cigarette free si since September in 2016, that is amazing. That's definitely a feat. And uh, congratulations to you, Fonzo. Next one is from Josh McIntosh. He says, been watching your tutorials and views for a while now. It's good to have some honest opinions on products from a very down-to-earth guy. Also very kind when I met you at Expo. Uh, thanks again for the stickers, lol. Nice. Well, Josh, big shout out to you, of course, and uh, thank you for the kind words. It was awesome meeting you, brother, and I look forward to the next time we meet. Um, I can't wait to get back over to the UK, man. Uh, all those guys, they were super, super, super duper nice, and uh, it was just such an honor to, to meet the people that watch my channel from all the way across the pond. Moving on, we have uh, the next one says, Hey Nick, I was wondering if you can shout out the Stooge Crew members and our show on Clowns, uh, Clowns Channel, Vaping with the Omies. Thanks, buddy. Uh, hashtag, I hope you find your dad. Uh, from your friendly neighborhood Middle Easterner, Q80 Vapor Aziz. That's uh, that's Aziz, man. Aziz is awesome. Big shout out to you, Aziz, of course. Uh, shout out to the Omies as well, again. Uh, and of course, the Stooge Crew. 
through because you stooges are hilarious. You crack me up and you keep me grounded as well. I love just our, our long talks on discord and all that. Uh, but yeah, uh, Kuwait, man, Aziz is all the way from Kuwait and he hangs out with us. He stays up insanely late at night and <laughs> just hangs out with us on discord and cracks jokes with us. And I feel like, you know, he's sharing a little bit of the, the, the industry over there and we're sharing it, it from our side. And it's just kind of like that melding of two worlds. And it's just so great, man. Aziz, you are awesome, dude. Keep up the, the good work there. And uh, yeah, I hope you find your dad. So the next one is from Chris Bell. He says, hey, dude, shout me out. Ha ha ha. Need to get to 10K. Love you, bro. Well, Chris, Empire Vape Co., you have been shouted out, my friend, of course. Big shout out to Chris. Uh, he's a Savs panelist and a good friend of mine as well. I can't wait to get back over to the UK so we can hang out and have a few beers. But Chris, uh, he needs to get to 10K, guys. So make sure you check out his channel. That's another thing. I'll link down there in the description below and uh, get him to 10K. He definitely deserves it. I think he deserves 10 times that amount, honestly. I feel like his following is like he's at 100k if that makes any sense his his fans and his friends and the people on his pages and everything are super duper duper ridiculously supportive of him and that is amazing to see uh because you know chris works really really hard he owns a vape shop and he works there all the time and he does pretty much what i do over here he he's like the liverpool version of me so big shout out to you chris of course uh empire vape co make sure you check him out next one is from vaping with ethan he says, shout out, please. It literally would mean the world to me. You got me into RDAs. Well, big shout out to you vaping with Ethan. Um, yeah, what can I say? I mean, uh, I'm glad you got into RDAs. I hope my videos helped you out with that. And, you know, just keep watching. That's all I can say, really. Um, just keep watching. Keep enjoying the videos. Thank you for the kind words. And, uh, you know, big shout out to you. Last one is a personal shout out uh, from me. Uh, I, I kind of picked this one this week. Uh, this is to Chris Linton. Uh, he's from True Vapors on Facebook. It's a Facebook group. They've got a ton of members. We actually went out to dinner with a lot of the moderators or admins uh, during uh, Expo, and it was a lot of fun. Those guys are super duper chill. Chris was nice enough to actually bring me a Newcastle brown ale all the way from Newcastle, so that was amazing. I got to share a beer with him, and, uh, or sorry, an ale. If I call it beer, they're gonna yell at me. Ale, uh, but yeah, big shout out to Chris Linton. Uh, if you wanna check out his page, I'll link that down there in the description as well, but I just wanted to give you a shout out, Chris, so there you go. All right, guys, so it's time to go over the smorgasbord of vapes that I've been using over the past week. I've got a few oldies but goodies in here and a few new ones as well. So let's just go ahead and kick it off with the Rage Squonk Box with the Templar RDA on top. I have already reviewed the Templar RDA, but I like it so much I'm continuing to use it. I actually put the coils that I had in here before I did the review back in, and I'm currently vaping those same exact coils. So uh, I just love this setup, man. It's so, so good. The airflow is really nice and smooth and the flavor is outstanding. So speaking of flavor, I've got Blazberry, my own creation on here. There you go. Of course, uh, blazliquids.com or you can actually purchase Blaz uh, e-liquid on lucidrda.com right now as well using the coupon code DAILYVAPETV for, I believe it's 15% off. So that's awesome of Stan for picking up some Blaz and uh, you guys should definitely check that one out. So next up, we've got the UL Iron Fist mod and Crown 3 Mini Tank, and I was dying to set this up after Expo. Uh, the guys from UL were kind enough to give me a nice little goodie bag, and I'm back on the reviewing side of things for UL. It's been a while since I took a look at any of their products, and I'm telling you, it's good to be back. So this Iron Fist mod is really nice. Uh, I kind of like the hand feel of it. It's nice and comfortable to hold, and it's got this little like snakeskin sort of grip thing, which I mean, I'm not too crazy about the pattern or anything, but the the overall feeling and the grip is really nice because it just kind of sticks to your hand a little bit better than just bare aluminum or anything like that. Um, yeah, the Crown 3 Mini flavor is really good. It, again, this is another tank that if you let it sit out for too long, it will kind of leak a little bit or gurgle, but overall not a bad experience. And we have some Tropical Fury by Riot Squad e-liquid in there. Those guys over uh, from the UK. And I'm digging the crap out of this uh, this Riot Squad e-liquid. Man, I've gone through almost every single one of my bottles at this point and I'm just loving it. So I just need to have a vape real quick. 
Next up, I've got the Purple People Eater. Yeah, the Drip Tech TS with the Recoil Rebel on top of there. Full purple setup. Absolutely loving this thing. And uh, it's actually seen a couple of drops recently. I don't know what it is lately, but this thing is dying to hit the ground. But uh, I actually dented the bottom a little battery section there. Uh, however, since it's aluminum, I bent it right back and it's just fine. It's still working, no problems whatsoever. A little bit of, you know, damage, a couple of dings here and there, but eh, it's all right. You know what? This is kind of like my workhorse mod like the uh, RX 200 was back in the day really didn't mind if that thing got dinged up pretty much the same goes with this one but yeah it's wh wh what can you do you can't really prevent little things like that from happening it's just a thing you know it can be replaced it's not a big deal uh, but loving the setup absolutely um, right now I've got some riot squad again I've got some more riot squad this one is grapple and slap current this is a grape apple black currant flavor and oh I am in love with black currant. I don't know what it is, but it's probably just the fact that we don't really have a lot of that over in the States, but black currant is one of my new favorite flavor profiles. And you actually do get each individual flavor in this liquid. I got a little bit of that grape and a little bit of that apple flavor, and then you get that nice kick of black currant, and oh, it just makes for one hell of a good vaping experience. So the next setup I've got is the RX2 21700 by Wismec with the Horizon Tech Falcon Tank on top. I'm using the second coil that was in the box with the Falcon Tank right now because it's coming up in the queue very soon and we're going to get to that review in the very near future. But I wanted to try both coils out just to get the different experiences with them. Uh, other than that, I set this up because we had Jabo on Vape Stew the other night and I just wanted to kind of show it off that I was using one of his designs. But uh, I really do like this setup. It's a nice Nice little easy to hold all day sort of thing and the battery life is excellent on it but the flavor that I'm using I actually don't have the bottle with me here it is let me get the information up real quick on the screen uh, Baker's Fog Mango Tart uh, this one was given to me at Expo I just got a little one little tiny 10 mil bottle and it's pretty much like one fill or one and a half fills of this tank here and that's about it because this tank is absolutely huge so I just got that one little tiny bottle and I'm almost out of it already ready. Baker's Fog Mango Tart, and it's pretty darn good. So let's go ahead and have a vape on this one. Next up, I've got the UL Nunchaku. Now, this one has been in my rotation for a couple of weeks now, and I'm absolutely loving it. Basically, my goal with this one here is to go through as many of these little TPD 10 mil bottles as I can on one coil, and so far, I think I've killed about three or four bottles, so it's going strong still. The flavor is still all there. I've been checking the coil on and off, and it's doing really, really well, considering. Uh, the flavor I've got inside of this is Nasty Juice Slow Blow. Uh, didn't think I would like this one at first. I I think um, I tried it at their stand at Expo and I was kind of like iffy about it, but a lot of people recommended it to me. So felt like giving it a fair shot and even just going flavor after flavor after flavor without changing a coil. I'm still getting 100% flavor out of this one and I'm really, really digging it. I swear I'm almost done, guys. Only two more setups. We've got the Smoke Baby Mag Kit with some Hometown Hero Angel's Tears in the tank. And this one by Hometown Hero Angel's Tears is amazing. It's my favorite out of their range. It's a watermelon, berries, and coconut. And it's just not a mix that you see every day. And it just works. It really just works for me. I think it's the, the slight subtlety of the coconut itself. It just does something. And I'm telling you, it's magical. And last but not least, I have the Dovpo V mod with the Hell Vape Dead Rabbit on top of there. And this is just one that's been in my rotation for quite some time now. I've been doing a lot of dessert flavors on this one, and I don't do dessert flavors very often. So I'm just kind of like trying one out, you know, for a day or two, and then switching it up a little bit without changing the cotton. But it's been a really, really good experience. Um, I'm kind of switching back and forth between the comp caps as well, uh, the priest cap and the butcher cap, just to kind of switch things up a little bit for me and just kind of get different experiences seeing if I can like maximize the flavor and whatnot uh, but yeah this one has been my daily driver for a few days now and I'm really really digging it uh, in the dripper we've got some jam monster blackberry a really really good flavor I'm I haven't been the biggest fan of jam monster in the past but this one is really good it reminds me of a flavor that I had like way back in the day I can't really put my finger on what exactly it was it was obviously a blackberry flavor but 
but it is fantastic. All right, guys, it's vape mail time. I've only got one thing to show you guys today, but with that, I've been holding on to it for a few weeks, so I'm dying to get into this. I actually know what this one is. It's no surprise to me, so let's just go ahead and get right into it real quick. There's a little zip strip. See, see this? Ta-da! Isn't that great? Thank you, USPS, for making my life that much easier. Oh, okay, whoa. Oh, fancy bag and everything. We got this little sort of velvety bag going on. And I think that's about it. Yep. So let's go ahead and take a look in the bag. Jingly jangly. Whoa, we got quite a few sets of coils here. Oh, dude. Wow, these are really cool looking. This is from my buddy Lucas, aka LC Builds. Make sure you add him on Instagram, just at LC Builds. Uh, he's got really professional looking labels and these nice little, uh, little jars here. Really nice looking coils, very clean. Uh, we've got some aliens. They're marked uh, two and a half millimeter, 0.14, and uh, very, very nice labels there. We've got, let's see, some three millimeter, 0.08 aliens. Ooh, those will be fun on a Mac. Uh, let's see, we've got some more 0.14s and some more uh, 0.08s. So yeah, we've got 0.08 and 0.14 ohm aliens by my buddy Lucas, AKA LC builds. Make sure you guys go check them out. These coils look clean AF guys. So definitely give them a look on Instagram. So real quick before I go, we're going to do a random review and this week we're going to look at Jam Monster Blackberry since it's a flavor that I'm really not super duper familiar with and it's limited edition. I don't know how limited, it doesn't say on their website whether it be by bottles or by time or anything like that. So no clue, it's limited edition and figured review it while it's here. So let's look at their website real quick. It says Blackberry Jam plus butter plus toast equals fire. Well, that's pretty self-explanatory if you ask me. Uh, it's 22 dollars or 23 dollars to 30 dollars depending on if you want a 60 mil or a 100 mil and you have nicotine strength in 0 3 and 6 milligram so yeah pretty basic stuff uh it's blackberry what do you what, what else do you want it's blackberry jam um so let's go ahead and have a quick vape here and i'll describe what i taste So like I said in the What I'm Vaping On segment, this one really reminds me of something that I used to vape on all the time. I just can't put my finger on what exactly it was, but uh, I'm gonna think of it late at night after this video goes live and it's just gonna kill me until then. But in any case, yeah, the flavor on this one is really, really good. The blackberry in it is the most prevalent flavor. It hits you right up front and just carries on throughout the entire vape. And it's a very kind of natural tasting blackberry. I haven't eaten an actual blackberry in ages, so. I just kind of vaguely remember what they taste like and this kind of reminds me of that but one thing I will say about it is it does not taste like candy at all. You get that nice strong heavy blackberry that just carries it throughout the entire vape then you get a little tiny hint of a buttery toasty kind of flavor at the end. It's really not that prevalent and that's actually something I like about this one because comparing this one to the other Jam Monster flavors, the other ones seem to have a much stronger presence of that buttery toast flavor and I'm not a huge fan. So this is probably my favorite Jam Monster overall as a whole and I'm really enjoying it. But that about does it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this. Don't forget to click that notification bell right next to the subscribe button if you want to be alerted whenever I upload videos. Also, leave me some comments in the box below. I'd love to hear your thoughts about any of the topics that we talked about in this video. Make sure you enter my 25K giveaway. Check out the advocacy and my social media links right down there in the description below. Get those comments into the FDA, guys. We only have a couple weeks left, so everyone's just got to do their part and we can make 100K happen. But thank you guys so much for tuning in and as always, vape on. What's up, vapers? Thanks for checking out Daily Vape TV. My name is Nick, and it's Fresh Build Friday. That's right, we got a brand new coil for you guys to try out today. Today, we're going to be doing a tire coil. <laughs>